Hello, everyone. Focus. What's up? Focus. Hit All the right, right button. I'm not going to hit the wrong buttons this night. Hit the right I'm buttons. Sure. There's like a 90% chance that I hit the right button <laughs> at any given time, which is a pretty good chance. I mean, like, you can't get much better odds than that. Also, welcome to Sunday night Tabletop Royale March Madness. We have one match left before the Final Four starts, so... so we're almost there. We're going to start with the Final Four um, after this match. Yep. Uh, we've got um, an interesting matchup here. I think the Thirsty Titan Fighter is like very fast at forging keys, um, whereas the Veiled Brawler is like very good at taxing uh, keys. So I'm not sure how it shakes out. I think it's probably going to be in favor of the Veiled Brawler, just looking at it. Um, I it's think like what's the best, the better offense or the better defense? Yeah, and um, usually the defense in that situation. Uh, Red Planet Raygun, I think, is a problem for that deck, and uh, Deep Probe also could be bad because it has like a lot of um, just a lot of creatures in there, right? Yeah. Like if you if you hit the Deep Probe at the right time, you shut off Full Moon or any number of other things. So ripping a bunch of Dust Pixies with a Deep Probe could be pretty yeah. nasty. Very right. nasty indeed. So, How's it going, Harley? How are you doing tonight? Good to see you. As did always. you catch the uh, vault tour stuff, Harley? Yeah, he was talking. He was telling me about the thing I was telling you earlier about where the key. Yeah, uh, did not I get forged. I saw that in uh, I saw that in chat, but I didn't know if um, if you watched any of the stuff from today. So. All right. So I wondered how the. Um, I wonder how the. Uh, um, finals and whatnot shook out. They were doing adaptive, right? Oh, really? For the finals? Is that is that what I saw? I know for the same, same guy almost got a DQ in the last oh, round. Oh, nice! What? Almost. Interesting. For what? Would have been kismet. Yeah. Also, bet is up. In case any betting mans are in chat right now. Same thing. Didn't flip a key. Wait, the same guy that called the other guy out for not flipping his key didn't flip his key. Man. That's insane. Nice. Huh. Yeah, that, I think the finals in our the tournament we're going to is also adaptive. So, like, you play that deck up until the finals, then it's adaptive. I think that's super interesting. Yeah. Right? So, right. Like, my limited experience with that is one of those things where it's like, I don't know how many chains you put on your deck. Yeah. If your deck is the one that wins both games, I don't know how many chains you put. And if the, de if the games are close... Yeah. I don't know how many chains you bid. Because then it, it may have been a situation where... It could have been one draw. card. Yeah, yeah. One call. it could have been one, one card, and that ch one chain um, is too much. So They rolled in his favor twice. Hmm. A six, you say. Not a six. Winner was that guy with a library access and a pent seed out of a uh. sealed. Interesting. Interesting. Is this, this deck has a lot of artifacts, correct? Yes. So I'm first. Um, all right, I'm uh, good. Yeah, I will keep. Oh, it was Archon format. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, okay. I feel like I like I like the concept of sealed better for these vault tours. I am torn yeah. because I have spent money. And we had because we own these decks. We own a lot of decks. Every time we play like, in a big tournament, it's like, oh, you're oh, buying a new deck. There's a new deck. Yeah, no, that's you a know. good point too. But there are Archon like eight man pods that fire off all day too. So yeah, you can do whatever. Uh, Here's right. Archon uh, Survivor. Bring your best three decks. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Uh, okay, yeah, I also like that. Yeah. Um, I'll uh, discard Gateway to this. I'll play a Terror. And I will use a dominator or play a dominator bubble. And it is your turn. I will draw. There were situations where four O guys lost on purpose to play day two with their best deck. Since you had to continue with what you're playing. Oh. I don't know how oh, I feel about that. That seems dumb. Yeah, I don't like that at all. There should never be an instance where somebody wants to lose a game. Yeah. That start with second best. That does not that seems that seems stupid to me. Yeah. I'll play Dust Pixie. Play Wave of the Bear on Fire Spitter. And do Fairy and an Ancient Bear. I want my gateway back. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> okay. We're going to say uh, Shadows here. I'm going to play Carlo. I'm going to Seeker Needle, and I'll steal one from you with Carlo. 
And then I'm going to play an Umbra. And all my guys are dead. It's your turn. <laughs> I'll draw three. Hmm. All right, I'll say uh, untamed. I'm going to swing Ancient Bear at the Umbra. I'm going to play a Dust Pixie. Jeez. I'm going to reap with Dust Pixie. I'm going to reap with Dew Fairy to get to you. And I'm going to lock in the woods. My Dust Pixies and your dudes. That seems like a too good of a play to not do. Yep. So I'll say check with eight. Okay, well, uh, it's bait and switch time. Oh no. Well, I'm gonna play a silver tooth. Um, I'm gonna secret needle with a dew fairy for one. And then silver tooth is gonna reap. Uh, put me a seven. I'll say check with seven and I will draw to you. Well, this is a bummer. Cause I can't stop that. It's like all my work just went to crap. <laughs> What's up, Stormstrong? Um, yeah. So I'll play a Mars. Play mass induction for nothing, unfortunately. Play a Tunk and bio backup on something. Hmm. What's the best thing to bio backup here? None of these are particularly great. So I think I'll just put it on Tunk. That's it. So okay. I check with seven. So you do Forge. All right, well, I can't stop you. Um, and now I have to decide what I do. Do I play a lot of Martian stuff? The big problem is that it's not, the Martian stuff's not very good. Um, or do I play that part of the problem with the Martian stuff not being very good is that the um, fire spitter murders is, every every Martian's yeah. ever been. What's up, um, Assembly Kings? How are you doing? So, if I go for Mars, uh, I, I can like say dis and maybe set up a turn where I can get the Martian stuff off a little bit better. Um, Well, I get to see the most cards by playing Mars. So. The big problem is that the Martian stuff isn't very good. Key Forge in a nutshell. <laughs> okay, we're going to go with this. I'm going to play a Snudge. I'm going to fear the Fire Spitter. And then I'm going to Dominator Bobble, Silver Tooth, and Reap. And that's your turn. I'll draw to you. All right, so I Forge. Okay. I think I'll play Brabnar. Um, the question is, I have champion challenge. Do I play it? Uh, I killed my untamed guys off. You are going to seek renewal my dew fairy though, so that's something to consider. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and champions challenge. Okay. And then the tunk will kill Snudge. Play fire spitter. Play Smash on himself and another Fire Spitter. Oh, God. <laughs> That's it. So many Fire Spitters. Spitting so much fire. They spit hot fire. All right, I guess I'll say Mars. Uh, I'll play a Dominator, a Zizix, and a Felix. Um, all right, that'll be my turn. I'll draw three. Hmm. <clears throat> I'll play Mars. I'll Psychic Network for one. 
I'll bio back up Fire Spitter. Play of Zima Think Drone. Heals Tunk. Tunk will. It's just Reap. That's it. Okay. Um, I'm going to say this. I'm going to use Dominator Bobble on Felix. Felix is going to blow up two. Um, I'm going to play a. Oh, God, I'm throwing cards over. <laughs> I'll play a Lash and a Key to Dis. And then I'm going to play a Shaffles and a Stealer of Souls. And um, end of my turn, Shaffles blows up another one. Okay. That's Shaffles, man. I got, yeah. I got PTSD. <laughs> I got post traumatic shaffles disorder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll say Brobnar. I think this fire spitter is gonna go after the Stealer of Souls. Okay, so they trade. You kill Felix. Um, Zizix will take one, and Shaffles will take one. And then this one will go after the Dominator. Okay, so the Dominator will take five because he already took the. Well, actually, he'll take six. Yeah. Um, because he took the damage from the other guys, and then Shaffles will die, and Zizix will take a damage. And I'll play a Fire Spitter, and I'll unguard his camp. Just to guard. Just take this one. Sure. And I'll slam it on the Tunk. And that's it. I just want Sun Smash. Hmm. I guess I'm going to say shadows here. Um, I am going to go ahead and pop this key to dis. Um, it kind of it, it, uh, screws up the um, your archives because you've got yeah now it's two yeah two different houses in there so it'll be slightly dead no matter what happens. I'm going to play the Sting. Um, I think there's a chance I get to discard it before. Uh, I, I think I'll I'll know whether I need to keep it in play or not. I'm yeah. not going to forge anytime soon, at least not with the current setup. I think Sting's one of those cards where you, you have to play with it a while or a few times to figure out how best to use it. Because sometimes you just want to play it and then get rid of it at the next opportunity, even if you didn't get value out of it. Right. Because you right. might not have another chance. Yeah because um, it, it could be four or five turns before yeah. you get to get rid of it so um, so yeah I think there's a good chance with this board I think there's a good chance that I'll say shadows again um, before I try to forge the next key so all right and here we go I'm gonna say untamed I'm a full moon a mermook and then nocturnal maneuvers all these guys a lot okay just a whole lot of times that's it Oh, right. I am going to say Mars. I'm going to discard Ammonia Clouds because it's not particularly good here. I'm going to play an Ulic Mega Mouth. I'll play a Marauder. Um, we're going to Jammy Pack. Um, there's a lot of priority targets here. I guess Nexus is the hardest for you to kill um, and has the least powerful of least most powerful effect on the board currently um because you don't have any artifacts for me to utilize and then i'm going to sample collect that mermook and that'll be my turn okay i will uh draw i'll say mars i'm going to pick up the archive i will play a money clouds because it's particularly good here yeah <laughs> I will play a Tunk. I'm going to Squawker the Tunk. I will Psychic Network to steal one. I'll play a Marauder, which gets one, and I'll reap with Tunk. And that's it. Say check with eight. All right. So now we have to ask the question. Which is better? Do I let the sting go off? Um, or 
or do I say this and force you to pay more? Um, I want to I want to say Mars um, because I know I can get value here, but I. I think I'll go with this. I will lash you okay. to keep you from forging. Uh, I'll play a terror and a toxin. And that'll be my turn. Okay. And I'll draw two. We'll say Brubner, play War Song, play Gauntlet of Command, play War Chest, play Fire Spider. Okay. That's it. Say so check with eight. Okay, I am not sure. I guess I can say dis. I'm gonna hand of dis the marauder. Uh, I will lash you. Toxin is gonna reap and make you discard a card. Oh, that's a good one. Um, and then the terror, I think, is just going to reap to go to five. Okay. And it is your turn. I will draw one. All right, I'll say Brobnar. We'll play a crump. Um, Fire Spitter will attack the terror. Okay. And then Gauntlet a crump. Gauntlet into the toxin. Okay. Uh, you lose one amber. And I'll use the war chest to gain two. Okay. That's it. All right. So you're at ten. Ten. Um. I think I have to say shadows here. Uh, I'll play Carlo. I'll play an urchin and steal one. Um, I'll play a skeleton key and steal one. Now, do I bust my sting? I can't forge. I'd have to say shadows again. Um, like I think maybe I waited too long, like it might have been a play mistake to do this. Um, do I think I can outrace you if um, I pop the sting? I, I don't know when I'll get to use the sting again. It's part of the problem. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh, I am going to secret needle my own urchin. Okay. To go to seven. I think that keeps me safe. You've played two psychic networks. I've got a mermook. I don't how many mermooks were in that deck. Was it just one? I think or just one. Yep. Crump can't hit Carlo. Um, I guess you could gauntlet it, but so the one, the built-in one there. Okay, we'll we'll hope that's enough. So, uh, draw three. I really wanted to get through my whole deck there. So, all right. So I'll say untamed. Play a ritual, the hunt. Dust pixie, dust pixie. That's it. Check with seven. All right, so I forge. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of kind of in a bad spot here. I can like super stop you with shadows. Um, I don't think that lets me threaten though. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that gets me to five, a very fragile five. And I can't stop you. I can stop you with shadows or I can stop you with this. With, um, I think I get more from shadows. Shadows. 
So I guess I'll go with shadows. Um, I'll play Magna. I'm going to Seeker Needle a Dust Pixie. Okay. Carlo is going to reap. And then skeleton key. I'll skeleton key on Magda because YOLO. <laughs> okay, that's my turn. I'll draw one. All right. I think I would have been... So if I had kept the sting, I would not have forged last turn. I would have had 11 on this turn. I would have been able to have popped the sting. But I would have... Uh, uh, no, I would have 17 amber. So yeah. one wonders if maybe keeping the sting was the right call. I don't know. All right, so Lord Farquad, how's it going? What's up? I don't know when you I don't know when you said that, but he just said it. Uh, I'm gonna say Grobnar. I'm gonna blood money on Magda. Kip. Make sure she's hyper dead. Yeah. I'll gauntlet Tunk into Magda. Okay. And then Fire Spitter. Okay. Kill both of them. And that kills Carlo as well. Oh, yeah. Um, Crump will reap. He dies to the conflagration. Uh, I'll use the war chest to gain one. And do I use ritual to rape with the dust pixie? I think I do. Yeah. Reap the dust pixie. Uh, ritual is exploded, right? That's yeah, exactly. it's dead. Um, then I'm going to anger to ready and reap with Crump. I'm just going to go as high as possible here. Play around the bait and switch to redraw. Uh, yeah, that's enough. Yep. Uh, I got trapped with all this crappy Mars stuff in my hand. Yeah. Because um, I was in situations where I had to stop you. So. Goodness gracious. Yeah, that was a that was a. I think that was a closer game than the initial the the final Amber score would suggest. I agree. Because I don't think that deck can stop this deck. No, it has like very little Amber so. control. Did we get some new cameras? Uh, we got one new camera, and I repositioned them a little bit, and they're closer to us, so they're better quality overall. Because before, they were, like, across the table looking around, so now they're, like, right in front of us. Yeah. A good reversal deck with the same issue Nathan had. Yeah. 0-3. Huh. Very nice. Yeah, I had um, I had like powerful. So I had deep probe, and I could have deep probed, and definitely. Had I had three dust pixies in hand. The, the hand you, um, where you rip one the toxin. When you toxin to me, I had three dust pixies. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had deep probe, and I was like trying to decide when to go in with deep probe, but I wanted to pair it with some Martian creatures, but I had already drawn and played all the Martians. Yeah, because they all died in that horrible, horrible uh, yeah. ammonia clouds. Yeah. The Ammonia Clouds, I think, is what sw uh, swung the game I think around, so, too. So. All right, bet's up for the next round. I'll get the thing fixed. Nathan is on Thirsty Titan Fighter this time around. Side switching. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, <laughs> it's been We've been in the new sides for like a week, so I'm trying to get some like yeah. adjustment period time. I think it's closer to like two weeks now. Right? Maybe two weeks, yeah. I am. I think the basement has worked out better for us. You guys have probably gotten less background noise. Yeah. And our roommates are free to do things while we stream <laughs> instead of being trapped in yeah. their own personal hell of silence. S stewing in their own resentment. We turn on the radio silence button. Stewing in our moderate internet popularity. The recording in progress. So, yeah, we had the red light on, um, and we would just put that right in front of their eyeballs so they really understood <laughs> and burn into their retinas. If you speak, we even forced one them, word. We forced them to clap all the time. Yeah, and please, please clap. Please clap. <laughs> Applause button. The studio, the live studio audience. This is some grape wine. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let's 
six. Okay, so I'm first. Jesus. This deck sometimes. Um I think this is a mulligan. Because it wants to steal so much in this hand. So like I feel like stealing does not get that good, and unless you have just a stupid us untamed turn, which is very possible. start out with Mr. Steal Your Soul. Okay, I'm going to say Untamed. Dust Pixie, Dust oh, Pixie, no. Lost in the Woods. Jeez, that's so good. That's such a stupid play, right? <laughs> it's so good. It's so much amber. Uh, it's so much like future amber yeah. too. Yeah, it's insane. Wow, indeed. Wow. Can't believe it. Wow. Wow. All right. All right, draw three. I'll play Shadows. I'm going to play a Silver Tooth and a Carlo Phantom. I'm going to reap the Silver Tooth. That's it. Okay, well, this is where the deck cools off. Mm -hmm. Um,. No one could have survived that. I guess, I guess I'll just play a Dust Pixie and say check. And it'll be your turn. Okay. All right, I'll play a Dominator Bobble, which will steal one. I'll play a Shackles. Uh, discard a Fear. <laughs> no reason to put the Dust Pixie Yeah, in. I don't really want to do that. And Shackles will blow one up. Okay. Um, all right, well, I, I have to, okay, yeah, this is fine. Uh, I'll say Mars. I'll discard a Psychic Network. I'll play a Mass Abduction, which doesn't do anything. Uh, and then I'll Biomatrix back up the Dust Pixie. The Dust Pixie are too strong. Um, I'll say check with seven, and I'll draw three. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This deck reminds me of like a Bizarro Barkus Rex. Yeah. Because it's like uh, generating amber with creatures instead of Barkus Rex, which is like generating amber without creatures. I guess I'll say Shadows. I'm going to play a Sting. Okay. Steals one. Um, Silvertooth will reap. And Phantom. Will reap. And chop the little one up. Okay. And I'll say check with six. Uh, except psych. Yeah, okay. So, yep. um, Indeed. All right. So I will. Um, I'll say Brobnar. I'm going to play a Fire Spitter. I'm going to play a War Song. So I'm going to anger the Fire Spitter. Um, so we get one from the anger and then get one from the fire spitter attacking. The fire spitter is going to attack Shaffles. Um, that'll kill Carlo. And um, then I will unguarded camp. So I'm going to say check with eight and I'll put that there. And it will be your turn. I will draw. Okay. I'll say Mars. I kind of like don't want to use this moaning clouds because it just puts the dust pixie back in your archive, which is really where you want it. So I won't play it. Uh, I'll play a dominator, a phylix, and a marauder. And I'm going to discard a moaning clouds. 
right, so I forge and I give you all this. Which I think in the long run will probably make the difference in the game. Yeah, it's a big deal. Um, I am going to say untamed. This dust pixie is going to reap. And I am going to play an ancient bear. And I'm going to nocturnal maneuvers. Felix definitely. Dominator definitely. Uh, I'm going to go with Silvertooth. Um, and then we're going to put Way of the Bear. That makes somebody a double bear. Or do we put it on Fire Spitter? I think I'll make the Ancient Bear a double bear. Okay. It's pretty good on Fire Spitter, I will say that. Um, okay. And that'll be my turn. I wish I could have said check there. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say shadows. I'm gonna play naughty and blow up the sting. That's it. And then I say check. Okay. So I need to threaten here um, and like kill like a bunch of guys. Um, I can't do both. That's bad news. I need I, I like need to kill Felix. Um saying saying Brobnar does not feel good here. I guess I'm gonna say Shadow I mean sorry, uh, Mars. Okay. I'm gonna put Biomatrix back up on the ancient bear. Uh, I'm gonna play some Martian nerds. And then I'm going to discard this Psychic Network. Um, and then I'm going to tell you to go ahead. Hmm. Okay. I'll say check with six. And I'll draw. So I'll flip it. Um, you have so many ways to stop me. Yeah, I think I'm going to play Mars. Play a Mega Mouth. I'll use the Felix to blow up three. Yeah. Feels awful. Unstun the dominator. Yeah, I had. That's like I have to do that. It's the only opportunity. When that opportunity presents itself, yeah. you gotta take it. Uh, Marauder. It's first time I sample collect. I think the dust pixie. To remove that bio play you have, and then I'm gonna reap with the marauder to say check. All right. Well. Um, I get I I could say untamed and stop you, or I can say Brobnar and like do something about Felix. We did not get uh, we were not able to catch the Adepticon stream earlier. I think Harley was talking about it a little bit. Um. Uh, this fire spitter is going to fight uh, Mega Mouth. Um, I'm gonna kill Felix, kill Silvertooth, dump some damage around. I'm gonna smash. The naughty, I'll play another fire spinner. All right, that'll be my turn. I will draw two. I feel like this game is just spiraling away from me. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll say un this untamed this. You, you, you forge. <laughs> I forge. Okay, I didn't think I was gonna forge there. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. So. I'm gonna play Dis. I'll use the Dominator Bobble to reap with the Dominator. Haha. <laughs> um, play a key to Dis. So I have Gateway. My question is, should I play Gateway or give you a turn and then play key to Dis? I feel like I should go ahead and play key to Dis because it pushes my advantage a little bit and it doesn't let you have a turn with a bunch of stuff on the board. See, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and Gateway. Okay. Ancient bears in the archives. All the rest of this is dead. Then I play a Snudge and a Stealer of Souls and discard Hand of Dis. Man. Okay, so my turn. Uh, I'll put my archives in my hand. I'm going to say Untamed. I'm going to Full Moon. I'm going to Ritual. I'm going to Mermook. 
I'm gonna do Fury. I'm going to Dust Pixie and, and right into this uh, uh, bait and switch. And I'll <laughs> Ancient Bear. Yeah. Um, all right, that's my turn. All right. I'll draw. I'm gonna bait and switch. Yep. So six to six. Yep. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and crack this key to dis. Okay. Since you have that ritual to hunt, and then I'll play an Umbra and a Skeleton Key. All right. My turn. turn. Yep. All right. So I forge. Uh, I lose because I can't stop you. Man. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, I mean, maybe maybe I don't go that high knowing you have. Uh, I think you wanted to because switch. that's the only way you could have threatened. Right. Things. Exactly. So forge. So yeah. The only way to, I can right? forge is if I if I produce a lot of amber. There. Yeah. I think you had to. So you just had to hope I didn't have it. I mean, I yeah. still I still drew it there. You, like I just drew it. Okay. Yeah. You had a decent amount of your deck left. Yeah. So I think I think it was right. You I made think the right call. There was a chance that you wouldn't have. Yeah. So. And I did just chain myself too, because I played five discards. And one of them gave me a chain, so I only drew four cards there. Yeah. So yeah, unless the last card in my hand was bait and switch. I mean that that game. I guess that game felt kind of close, but I, like I said, I think the I think the forging the key, or getting the, the amber from the sting is like made all the difference there. Yeah. So. <laughs> no one could survive that. Uh. What is that in reference to? I mean, obviously the board wipes, but. <laughs> All right, bets up. Assembling Kings. Stacks of Amber. Any anime? Uh, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, that's true. It's in reference to every anime, book, or movie. Worst game of Key 4. Wait, what? You guys watched the so the game wasn't events of the game were worst game I have watched a keyboard yet. Opponent wow. literally almost fell asleep. Wait, why? I, I know, Harley. I know you went to well, that was, it, us. was it uh library access and a pin seed? Was it just that boring? He was just like doing his thing. That's funny. Oh, uh, well, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Jeez, I mean, I feel like they. Should probably just errata a library access to say alpha and yeah. then solve this problem. Solve it once and for all. Yeah. Card's still fine, but you make the game not really one sided anymore. Yeah. Completely one sided because of a two card combo. One thousand <laughs> percent. Yeah. Yeah. Make it Omega, just turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, I think making it alpha solves a lot of things. Yeah. Which is bizarre because it was printed before that keyword existed, but it should rec still have retroactively it, right? you'd want to give it. Yeah. So. Because I feel like that's the errata. You you make the text of alpha, it's errata anyway, right? Yeah. That's that's kind of the fix. And you don't completely ruin the card because the card's still fine. It's still yeah. fun. Yeah, it's still good. It's still really good, yeah. All right, I am first. Hmm. Um. Uh, I think I'm okay with this. Uh, I'm going to keep. You know what? I'm screwed. <laughs> I'll play Lash. I think okay. that matters a lot. Yeah. So. Yeah. Go ahead. I will say Untamed. I'll play a Bear, a Dust Pixie, and a Ritual of the Hunt. It not going to the discard until the effect is over will be okay. I feel like I don't like that just because it changes the way the game is played, or like it changes the the state at which other events behave, or yeah. like that, that event would behave in a different way of everything else. So it kind of. It makes things odd. No. I'm going to say Shadows. I'm going to play an Umbra, a Skeleton Key, and a Secret Needle. Oh, my and lord. I will draw. 
All right, I'm gonna play on. No, I'm gonna play Brobnar. Play Brobnar. Okay. I will use Ritual of the Hunt. I'm gonna play a War Song. Oh. I'm gonna fight the Umber with Ancient Bear to gain one. I'm gonna Reap with Dust Pixie. I will play Fire Spitter. And if I play, I have Champions Challenge. If I play it, I threaten, but you have Skeleton Key. So you have to have another guy to play it on. I mean, you have a million ways to stop me. I'm killing like two of my creatures to do this, so I think I just discard this Champions Challenge. And it might even be right to hold on to it there, but I think I'm going to discard it. All right, I think that alters my turn. Um, if you threatened, I wasn't sure what to play. Um, so now that you're not threatening, I think I say shadows. I'll play a silver tooth and a Magda. Um, I'll skeleton key on Magda. I'll secret needle the dust pixie. Silvertooth is going to reap. And it'll be your turn. I will draw two. Hmm. I just mean it would behave in a way that no other card does. So it's kind of like a weird... Yeah. It's a weird... You have to errata that so differently, and then different rules would have to exist because of that errata. If you said it, it never went to the discard pile. Uh, this is a tough choice. I don't have any like really good play here. I think I'll say Robnar. Um, Smash will stun Magda. I'll play a Fire Spider. Oh God! <laughs> so many, I'll so many large men. Reap with this Fire Spider. That's it. Uh, I guess I'm going to say Mars. Mm. Yeah, I guess we'll say Mars. I'm going to discard Sample Collection. I'm going to play an Ulic Mega Mouth and a Marauder. I'm going to Jammer Pack. Magda is the one that still makes the most sense because she's evasive. Yeah. Um, uh, I hate like loading her up like that because she's just... Uh, just a free kill i guess that uh no this is the deck with hand of dis second chance just so. triggered me harley <laughs> second chance and force illusion would an official digital implementation hurt or benefit the game that's a good question i think it would benefit if you keep everyone's collection one to one i think it would actually be amazing for the game yeah okay do what warhammer age of champions. sigmar champions yeah. yeah do what they do they're rotated out now. Yeah, I know. I, I did consider getting into the new set because the new set looks good. Uh, but good. Uh, Destiny is such a money sink. It's way worse than Keyforge. I would spend $600 every time a new set comes out. Uh, I will say Mars. L Ammonia Clouds. My precious Martians. But I do love Destiny. It, it was a very fun game. Um, play Tunk. Discard Psychic Network. Bio Backup. I think Smash makes the most sense. And that's get, it. Get to use them immediately. Yeah. God, that's I have, it. I have to march all these guys to their death. Yeah, it was pretty brutal, Harley. I, my bank account is definitely taking a significant upturn since I stopped playing Destiny. I guess I'll say this. I'm going to play a Shaffles of Terror and a Stealer of Souls. Um, that'll be my turn. Shaffles will blow up one. And I will draw three. I just can't threaten. I want to threaten so bad. Uh, all right, I'll say Brobnar. No, I'll I'm terrified of that. Brobnar, I'll blood money the Magda. No, definitely don't do that. Fire Spitter's going to slam into Stealer of Souls. Uh, stop, stop doing that. <laughs> Um, so you get these back as well. Oh yeah. 
all kinds of stuff from that. Yeah. It was, uh... And this fire spitter will trade with the terror and kills the shackles as well. Smash will reap. And that's it. So I check with a bunch. With exactly how many? Exactly 10. 10. Can I afford to not make you pay? I it is fun, Lord Quad. I bought a bunch of it, but I just haven't had time to play it. So. Um, I'm going to say Mars. I'm going to play Dominator and Felix. And I'm going to tell you to go ahead. And you do get to forge. I will draw two. Hmm. I've played some champions. I, I like the game. I just don't know if the game is quite deep enough for me. That's my problem is it feels like there's a very limited design space in the game. Yeah. And I, I was getting that like when they release new cards, I'm like, that's just like a slightly different version of a card that already exists. Yeah. I think they kind of worked themselves into a corner with the game mechanics a little bit. Yeah. Um, at least that's what my impression of it was. And I could be wrong about that, but it's just, it's a little odd. Yeah. It's definitely not like anything else. I like unique game like, I, I like right right, right. there it. was a like i played it and i was like okay there's a lot of cool stuff going here yeah um but uh i i just couldn't um i just couldn't see myself like really getting into the game yeah. i couldn't uh it's no key forge yeah <laughs> uh i will say mars play think drone reap with tunk uh squawker the think drone reap with think drone and I'm actually going to archive my bear for the full nuke. Yeah. And then I'll play mass abduction for no, nothing. That's it. Okay. All right. I am going to say Mars. I am going to psychic network for two. And Felix is going to blow up one. The cool idea of the cards to unlock packs and apps neat. And there's a lot of the people posting lines. You can just scan them. Yeah. And, and like, I really like the. In fact, you can just scan your cards, and you have a card in your life, you have it on the app. That's yeah. great. Uh, I'm going to deep probe, and I'm going to say untamed. Just a mermook. Just a mermook. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> it was not Fair that enough. bad. Okay. And your turn, I will say check with six. Actually, hitting that mermook's really good for me there, because that lets me like guaranteed forge, yes. which I would not have been able to do before. So uh, I'm going to say Mars. I will second network. Hey so now, no, no. <laughs> Take it right back. Um, play bio backup on Tunk. I'll reap twice. I guess I will not archive anything this time with the Fizima. That's it. So I'll say check with ten. Okay. Um. Guess I'm gonna say shadows. Uh, I'll play a naughty. Oh, no, I can't say shadows. I have to make you pay the nine here. I think I lose the game if I don't make you pay the nine. So I'm going to fear the tunk. I'm gonna drop a toxin. I'm gonna discard the gateway, and I'm gonna lash you. Um, Cause I just straight lose the game. I think if you four for six. six. Yeah. So. All right, go ahead, and I'll draw three. Okay. Jeez. Hmm. Hand's not great. No, oh, you flip your key. <laughs> I gotta call a judge. Yeah. Topical. Um, I'll say untamed. Pick up the old archive. Play a full moon. Play an ancient bear. Play lost in the woods. Let's shuffle these guys back. And the toxin for sure. And I think the Felix, yeah. Hmm. 
I mean, and and Fantasy Flight already has a digital app team. Like they put out the all those board game apps and the Lord of the Rings online card game, the LCG card game is another example of a thing that you think a team that did that could also do Keyforge. Um, I think Keyforge lends itself very well to a digital format as well. It would be very easy to implement, relatively. Yeah, I think so. All things considered, yeah. It's way less complicated rules wise. Because the Crucible is like a fan site. And yeah, it's exactly. Like Ninety five percent of the rules. Uh, I will exhaust the Dominator. Okay. And I'll wave the bear the smash. Okay. Yeah, it might not be for a while, Harley, but I think that would be a thing that would launch Keyforge into the stratosphere of popularity. Because then you'd have all these people that don't play physical card games that get into it. Um, jeez, I'm gonna say Shadows. I'm going to discard the Sting. I really want to play the Sting there um, just for the Amber because I can't threaten. But if I play the Sting and threaten, I can't forge. So <laughs> uh, I'm going to play Naughty. I'll play Silvertooth. Silvertooth is going to reap. I'm going to Skeleton Key the Dominator, I guess. Uh, and I'll Seeker Needle the Smash for one. And it'll be your go. I will draw three. Okay. Say Brobnar. Play War Chest. Play Fire Spitter. Kill the Naughty. No. The Bear. Oh, Dominator. Um, crap. Kill Silvertooth. Is that worth doing? Or is it try to be Reaping? I'm definitely going to play Underguard Camp just to get the Amber. Okay. So that's happening. Smash, I think. I mean, you can just stop me if you play Shadows. So I think he'll just attack Silvertooth. Okay. And that is it. I haven't seen any dust pixies this game. Okay, I see one. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna say shadows. I'm gonna steal one with Naughty. I'm gonna seeker needle and kill the smash, and I get one from that. Um. And then I'm going to skeleton key onto the dominator. All right. And it's your go. Let's see, check with seven. All right, I'll say Mars. Play a Tunk, a Bolter, and a Think Drone. That's it. OK, so I forge. I wasn't sure I was going to get to do that this game. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I will say this. I'm gonna play a Dominator Bobble. I'm gonna hand of this the Bolter. I'll play a Snudge. I'll lash you for good measure, and I'll tell you to go ahead. I draw three. Hmm. I'll play Brobnar. Pick up the archive. Um, Smash will stun Naughty. Or will he? Yeah, he'll stun Naughty. Okay. Um, attack the Dominator with Fire Spitter. Okay. And then anger the Smash into the Dominator. Okay. Play a Crump and use the War Chest to gain one. And that's it. Okay. All right, um, I am going to say Shadows. I am going to bait and switch. Yeah. Very timely. Four to four. Yeah. Uh, Naughty is going to clear the stun. I'm going to drop an Urchin. I'm going to drop a Nexus. I am going to Skeleton Key Nexus. I am going to Seeker Needle my own Urchin. I'll say check with six and draw three. All right, I'll say Untamed. Play a Dew Fairy, play a Dust Pixie, play a Dust Pixie. Play Nocturnal Maneuvers on your dudes and play an Ancient Bear. 
check with seven. You do forge, and I redraw. do is play this lash you and uh, tell you to go ahead draw one mm. man I feel like I drew stuff out of order this game mm. so bad like so so bad the fact that yeah, I got brutalized by Psychic Network, I think oh, the Psychic yeah. Network the re, was, the Psychic Network back, yeah. I think that's what swung the game. You needed to forge there. I also untamed. Um, I needed to forge like three or four times, and I somehow got stopped each time. So. Yeah. Uh, Bear is going to attack Naughty. Yep. Uh, Nocturnal Maneuvers are dudes. Yep. I'll put Wave the Bear on Dust Pixie. Yep. I'll Reap Reap. Yeah, reap. we got nothing. Yeah. Yep. Goodness gracious. The thirsty Titan fighters. Too thirsty. Mm. Man, he was too hungry for it. Oh, man, I had Kia this was in the bottom. Uh, I had so many board wipes in this deck, but there were never good times to play them. Yeah. Um, I think that might have been part of the problem. I, I didn't get the sting until you had after, after you forged two keys. Uh, there was just all kinds of draw order issues there. I had... I didn't have shaffles in a way I could protect them from your dudes. Yeah. Cause that that was what really like sent this deck over the top the last time. So yeah. Yeah, shaffles. Oh, I got brutalized. <laughs> got brutalized. All Dang. right. Okay. Well, thirsty titan fighter advances. So we're in the final four now, boys. Yeah, it's Devo versus the Divinity. Okay. Let's yeah, just, it was we'll display the four decks for a second. Oh yeah. Get these things. Yeah. Uh, we have Mars. We have Logos, we have Brobnar, we have Untamed, we have Shadows, and we have Dis. We have all the houses represented. That's good. Um, so. Okay, I'll get the match set up. Um, so you'll be on Devo and I'll be on Divinity. Okay. Um, yeah, Logos is the most represented with three. Um, I think Cal is the favorite to take it at this point. Um, I would say so. Yes, everyone get hyped up for the top four. Top four. Get all hyped up. I want to see you guys getting hyped up. Let me see some emotes. I'm going to see a Snuffle Gator or two. <laughs> no, there's no Snuffle Gators in this top four. There's no Mushroom Mans in this top four. No. There may be a Mind Warper. No, there's no Mind Warpers. Uh, no. No, no Mind Warpers. Nope. None of the channel mascots so, are present. So, uh, yeah, just, just spam whatever you want. Sloths are fine. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I like it. Okay. No. Kitties are fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so our bet is up now, so I'm on these Divinity. Are, these are not. Yep. I got to look at these decks again. Yeah, doggies are fine. Oh, this is the triple effervescent time traveler. Yep. Help from future self. Yeah. Yeah, two mothers. Um, DeVoe's triple ghostly hand. Okay. Um, some Brobnar stuff. Uh, this is the deck with Neutron Shark and Bouncing Death Quark, so it's like really good at just making sure everything is dead. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So we also have Tor Step in here. Key Charge, Full Moon, Virtual yeah. Bounce, Two Witch of the Eye. Yeah, that deck has like a ton Giant of, sloth. It has a ton of recursion. Yeah. This will be an interesting match. I'm not sure how this will go. Yeah, I don't either. Um, I mean, DeVoe doesn't steal a ton. It has an effervescent. 
a Titan mechanic could be important because you could like find a, yourself in a situation where you need Titan mechanic to forge at five. You get a round ritual bounce uh, or a doorstep. Yeah, that's good. So Titan mechanic could be a sneaky card in this. Uh, interdimensional graph could be a particularly powerful card. So Ooblet is good because of all the recursion that you have. You could Ooblet. Witch of the Eye and other problem guys you never want to see again. So there's a double Murmook in here. Yeah. So yeah, Ooblading Murmooks is good. A lot of good Ooblet targets. Hunting Dexter Raven. Yeah. Might come down to whoever has the most card advantage. I guess I won't start the game with two keys forged. <laughs> <laughs> As I am want to do. Six. You've been crushing those sixes. Oh yeah. Got a one. These slightly different colored sleeves bother me. <laughs> yeah, they bother me. <laughs> uh, is this is this hand garbage? Yes. Judge, call a judge. Yes, I think it I is. I am the judge. <laughs> I am the law. <laughs> can't review the stream now. It's against the rules. <sighs> against the rules. Can't can't show unfair stream treatment. We need a booth. Somebody go into the booth. Yeah. Watch the replay. Hit the clip button. We need to call up Mike. Slow Cicilli motion. Mike Siciliano, where his name is. Yeah. <laughs> I flipped the keys. Uh, well, you see, in the game of Key Forge, no player starts with any keys. <laughs> now you gotta have three of them to win, so <laughs> two is pretty close to three. <laughs> when Justin forged his third key, that really hurt Nathan's chances to win the game. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll, uh, I'll just start with this ritual balance just to get that on the table. All right, we're gonna say shadows. I'm gonna play one last job. I'll play a nexus. I'll play a Carlo, and now the question is, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Go ahead. If 100% of the coverage is streamed, you can review the footage. As long as no other games are being played in your house, your stream counts. We we have no way to prove that no other games are being played in the house. Yeah, though we're pretty sure. Not currently. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say sanctum. I'll play a Nafiel. I'll play a Bulwark and a Seki. Let me give Seki the shoulder armor. My God. Give him. He's just Sek a Seki's beast. A, Seki's a large boy. Yeah, he's a big old boy. All right. So I'm going to say Logos, I suppose. I'll play a Bat Drone, a Valen Analyst, and I am going to lab work. And it is your turn. Draw. Draw, draw. Hmm. My hand isn't good anymore. Was it ever good? <laughs> I don't know. There's no way to know. Yeah. I think I just have to get some cards out of my hand, sort of. That's a lot of... Like, Scary stuff on your side of the board. So Carlo, I th if there's only a cannon in here for Carlo, so he's not as scary as you think. Uh, both Carlo and the Valen Analyst don't get to do a lot, but Nexus using your ritual is pretty good. So, so you're saying, Harley, they could go back in the footage if it's like the finals game, they could go back and look at it? Uh, I'll say Untamed. Play a Murmook and an Ancient Bear. I'm going to discard save the pack and key charge. Okay. That's, that's probably good. I mean, you want the sanctity of the finals game not to be determined by someone forgetting to remind the opponent about the state of the board. Uh, this is kind of a weird situation. I guess what I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to put my archives in my hand. And I'm going to say Shadows. I'm going to Ooblet the Mermook. I am going to play an Urchin. 
I am going to reap with Carlo Phantom. I'm going to reap with Nexus, who's going to use your ritual. He's going to give me one with the bat, uh, the Valen Analyst. Hmm. So that'll let me say check with six. And I um, can draw one. And here we go. I'm so thanks. I'm an old doorstep. Okay. I wish I had my. Uh... Last deck back because I wanted fire spitters. Those three fire spitters actually do so much work. They did a lot of work again because Felix and Carlo were both just dead. Yeah, if there was a fire spitter out. So um, that was one of the I think the secrets in that matchup was that fire spitter was really really powerful because the other deck had so many evasive dudes. Yeah, definitely. Play Hellblaster. Play Virtuous Works. Now, what do I need to kill on your side? A lot of stuff, as it turns out. What can I kill? Two things. Um, so I'm going to kill the Bat Drone and the Valent Analyst. Seki will reap and capture one. That's going to be his job until you can deal with him. <laughs> All right. I'm going to say Brubner. I'm going to Blood Money Seki. Oh, no. You can deal with him. <laughs> and then I'm going to deal with him. Uh, I'm going to Coward's End. Okay. Uh, I don't think I was ever going to kill any of those guys yeah. in a million years without some sort of board wipe. Um, Seki was at, what, six armor? Yeah. All right, so we got three chains. I am going to discard this Tremor and this War Song, and I will play a Bumpty to uh, smash one out of your pool. I will draw up and lose a chain. Go ahead. All right, I'll say Untamed. And a full moon, double witch of the eye. Gross. And then ritual one from you. Gross. Let's say check with seven. All right, so that forge. Yeah. You have to be a new level of stupid to on camera? Well, well, have I got the magic players for you? <laughs> so, yeah, some people can't help themselves yep. is, the, is the problem. All right. I am going to say Logos. I watched plenty of videos where a dude was like picking up creatures on the top of his discard pile, and he was, like the announcers. He was so sleek, the announcers didn't even notice it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's all the the thing is like if you're like part of it is the confidence. Yeah, part exactly. of it. If you're doing something and it seems like you're supposed to be doing it, the onus is on the opponent to stop you, and that's kind of bullshit in my opinion. Yeah. But th it's just that's the way you get away with that shit. So. Um, all right, I am going to say Logos, and I'm going to phase shift lights out the witches. Um, see you Rude. see you girls later. Uh, I'm going to play a Neutron Shark, and I'm going to smoke the Ritual and the Neutron Shark. The Consumers uh, shuffling their Destiny deck face up. I actually think we talked about that after it happened on stream, yeah. That was crazy. And then I'm going to discard this Bouncing Death Quirk. And that'll be my turn. I will draw up. And lose a chain. That's that forge. Uh, I will play Logos. I'm going to help from future self. Oh, no. Changing dials. He picked them up. He would move them. I remember that happening, too. Yep. There's a lot of controversy around that. People are just... Like, they'll do anything yep. it takes to win. The guy who won... Conquest Nationals or whatever the first year the Conquest tournament at Gen Con was cheating the whole time. Man, that's yeah. awful. Especially when they win a big tournament like that. And you have people that like actually practice and put in the time and have a dedication to the game. The guy who got second should have won because of his like 200 IQ play. He was playing... You, you had a 60 card minimum. The dude was playing 84 cards. God. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And he trashed everyone up to that game. Wow. Um, he played uh, our, our uh, friend John. He uh, he played John twice and trashed him in both games. And the thing was, like I, um, the deck that I built, uh, I built a chaos deck with like the Nurgle dude in it, and I play tested it against Dark Eldar because Dark Eldar was like the meta at the time, mm -hmm. and um, that deck had like a ninety percent win rate against Dark Eldar. I was like so sure in play testing. I didn't play in it because I was like wanted to play Star Wars or whatever at the same time. Yeah. And I was like, this deck trashes Dark Eldar. 
Like, we, we built a bunch of different... This guy was playing Dark Eldar. He was playing 84 cards, and he was playing every possible copy of, like, two shield cards. And so you would get into combat with him, and you just couldn't kill anything, because he's like, shield it for two, shield it for two. And you're just like... You're, huh. you're like watching the game, and you're like, I haven't killed anyone. We've been fighting for, like, seven turns, and I haven't killed any of your dudes. So, yeah, it was... He, like, he deserved to win, and he got cheated. Um, yeah. Which is just, like, total... That's, that's awful. Yeah. The yeah, yeah, exactly. List, yeah. The Conquest dude was the first guy I put on that list. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the, 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 the... We played against the Conquest dude. Um, we went to his home store and played against him, and he, like, trashed uh, John in a game. I didn't get a chance to play him. Um, but he play, John and him played... And, and he trashed John, and John was like, dude, pants me. Like, I, I he, he, like, played really well and stuff like that. And then later we were like, huh, did he actually play well, or was he just cheating the yeah, whole time? Yeah, Because um, Conquest, you, you drew two cards at the end of every turn. If you drew, like, an extra card or what, hard you to know, tell. like, it would be really yeah. hard to tell. So. Uh, you are generating problem creatures at a rate with which I cannot deal with. Um, I am going to guess say Brobnar. I'm going to play a cannon. Um, Bumpsy, do I reap? I guess I'm going to reap with Bumpsy. And then I'm going to anger Bumpsy into Mother. Um, because I don't know if I want to uh, deal with you having extra cards. Um, so I'm going to drop my last chain and I'll draw two. And go ahead. Wait, I'll play Sanctum. Play Anaphiel. Anaphiel. Take hostages. That's it. Uh, I'm going to say Shadows. I'm just going to play two Ghostly Hands. Alright. <laughs> and I will say check with seven... And I will draw three. Play Untamed. I'm going to play Witch of the Eye, Witch of the Eye, Mermook, Ritual Balance, Giant Sloth. Jesus. I need so many board wipes. All right. So I forge. Yeah, for seven. I am going to... Good lord. Um, I guess I'll go play two Valdirs. And then I am going to cannon uh, this champion in Aphiel, I guess. And it is your turn. I will draw two. Hmm. I can't even like make good use of these witch of the eyes right now. I guess it's you don't have any I guess I could either. pick up other stuff. So yeah, you could like stock your hand. For... Yeah, so that's probably fine. Um, I'll say untamed. I'm gonna discard dust pixie. I'll use the giant sloth to gain three. Oh no, that's pretty gross. Yeah, I'll use the witch of the eye to reap. Grab dust pixie back. Play dust pixie. Uh, reap with Mermook. I can't hold all this amber. Uh, I'll reap with the Witch of the Eye. And I'll grab Mother. I'll say check with a Gabillion. With one Gerbillion? One Gerbillion. Okay. Twelve. I am going to say Logos. And I'm going to play a Titan Mechanic. And an interdimensional graft. Oh, and I'm going to tell you. No. To, I'm going to tell you to deal with your own amber. Pile. Oh no, you forge for five. For five. So, so give me that extra one. Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, we got eight here. Draw two. Now right, I'll say sanctum. I'm on a doorstep. Play Seki, play Sigil Brotherhood, play Protectrix, and I'll attack that Titan mechanic. Uh, 
Let's try, try to figure out my board here. Uh, Reaper this time again, or this uh, champion. Okay. And then Hallow Blaster, this guy. That's it. Do you have to reveal what you take back with Witch Eye, or is it a courtesy? I think you do have to reveal it because it's it's public information that then is goes in your hand. So and what's in what's in your discard pile is pu public yeah. information. Yeah. That's a good question, though. I wonder. I mean, some jerk could probably be like, "I you didn't ask me," or like, "You didn't look at my discard pile before I picked it up." So. Yeah. Well, I would also think that um, that any any time something happens in the public realm, it that says, is public. Knowledge. That is the target of my ability. Yeah. Yeah. That is public knowledge. It's not like magic where I can't just like extirpate him in response to you targeting yes, it with right. Witch of the Eye or whatever. But um, okay, do I? Well, I guess I guess I'm gonna say Brobnar here. I'm gonna play a troll. I'm gonna punch one of the Witch of the Eyes. They'll be back, I guess. Um, if I reap, reap, I go to eight. You can ritual me, and then you can um, the Mermook. So I'm just going to reap with these two to go to eight. I'm just going to try to win it instead. Uh, I don't I don't, th I don't, think I have a chance if this game keeps going. So I will draw two, and it's your turn. I might not be able to stop you. So you're, you're going to forge for seven. Seven right now. And you can... I've got eight, so you can yeah. uh, ritual one. Which can't get anything back right now. Yeah, exactly. I think they're they're a total douche, and I think they're just wrong. Yeah. So. Oh, I have sigil. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, because I have sigil. Oh. I can use Seki. Damn. Um, Dang. I'll say. I think I'll say Sanctum. So I'll use the... No, no. Because I'm going to schedule. So I don't use Sanctum. I'll use something else. I'll say Logos. Okay. I'm going to Neurosiphon. Oh, gross. Just steal one. And draw. I actually drew an answer anyway. Um, I'll reap with Bookton. I'll draw. Play a brain eater. Play a mother. Play a Dexter. Question is, do I play? Do I even use the sigil now? I probably still do. Time traveler. Do you want to go back in my deck? No, I think you're better off just reaping. I'm not too worried about future proofing right now. I think this is the time to use a sigil though. So I'll reap with Seki. No capture one. Reap with Protectrix. Heal this Anaphil. Um, is it worth killing a Valdir? Or do I just go as high as possible here? I think I'll just read with these guys. Okay. And that is it. All right. And how much do you have there? One, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say logos. I'm gonna effervescent. Okay. To lose five. Uh, I'm going to remote access your ritual of balance. Tapped, and then I will Dexter, and it is your turn. I Goodness, will draw okay. <laughs> and shuffle and draw one more. Oh no, effervescence! I don't actually draw. Okay. So 
So you're not forging. No. Yeah, I needed to threaten there, but yeah, I think it's really hard to threaten through all of the stuff that you have on the table. Just I have to have copious like, amounts of stuff. Yeah. yeah, I have to have like nine or something. Yeah, uh, I'll say sanctum, play a reliquary, a shoulder armor that's brain eater. I will virtuous works. I'll reap of the seki. I'll just gonna keep on getting amber. And I'll heal this one. That's it. That's it? That's it. That's it, that's it. Okay. Dang, that was insane. Yeah, I uh, played a coward's in that game, right? Yeah, you did. Way <laughs> earlier. I think you killed like four dudes. Yeah. Jeez. The problem is I played uh, the Time Traveler, or the Help from Future Self after that to reshuffle all those guys. Yeah. It was like yeah. a Nafil, uh, Seki. Yeah, I, uh, I knew the longer I could wait on the Coward's End, the better it was going to be. Right. I like almost pulled the trigger a turn earlier, but I was able to threaten. Like I went to six. I had the Urchin. I used uh, all the stuff that I had in play. Used the Ooblet. Um, and so... I uh, was like, if I can hold off, I can probably get more guys. Um, and I wanted to like hold for one more turn, but I felt like I was fixing to just lose the board. Um, Seki was going to... You had both Ritual and Seki, so I felt like I was going to just get yeah. buried under both of those. Um, Ubelet. Ubliet. 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 Okay. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> How do you spell Ubliet? O U B L I E T T E? Yeah, I don't know. Don't I, don't, I can't pronounce it. I definitely don't know. Quick so. This random YouTube video will tell me. Uh, ask it to pronounce Ifen Yoko. French. Oubliette. Oubliette. Okay. Okay. Done. We're I fin yokel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that we don't have. Uh... I haven't watched hours of French YouTube. It's also Kixo, so but Kio sounds much cooler. <laughs> All right. Bets up. I've seen hours of French anime. <laughs> well, definitely tired of losing games tonight. I don't know. <laughs> Have you won one? No. Really? No. I've lost every game. I've lost every game. Oh, that's what? Because it goes with when it goes to a yeah. third game. A third game. That means okay. one person lost both games. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So. Oh man, that must feel terrible. <laughs> so I was in that boat on Thursday. Yeah. Till the last game. It's not like it was during the the Swiss rounds, where you got the pity games of the good, the best deck versus the worst deck. Yeah. Wait, can I take my bat back? No, nope. <laughs> sure can't. Keyforge sure can't. and Destiny. He believes in you, don't worry. He said JK. <laughs> so I'm JK. The question is, should we make the grand finals best three out of five? Um, or do we think it's telling enough in a best two out of three? I, I we feel can like play two it. out of threes. Yeah, we can play it. And if like the third game is like if it gets to three yeah if it gets to three um and if the third game is just like an absolute like so close yeah i don't know uh okay i am first but we'll definitely be playing those tomorrow night either way hmm. slam i slam this guy this hand is 
potentially stupid. All right. You keeping? Yep. All right. Well, play time traveler. And uh, yep. Draw two. One travel. One travel boy. And you're sure. One travely boy. Uh, I'll say logos. I'll play a valent analyst. I'm gonna phase shift a ghostly hand. Gross. Give me that. Um. I'm just gonna get crushed by ghostly hand. Dexter. I'll play Dexter. Okay. I am going to play Sanctum. I'm going to play a Whispering Reliquary. Play a Hallowed Blaster. I'm going to drop a champion to Nafiel. And we're going to give him a shoulder armor. And you're going to steal more with Ghostly Hand on the next turn. So. <laughs> I wish. Go ahead. Um, wow, this hand is so bad. <laughs> oh my god. I'll say Shadows. Play a Dodger. Play Relentless Whispers on the Traveler. And I'll wish you had one for my urchin. <laughs> That's it. Okay. We are going to say Untamed here. I'm going to discard Key Charge. I am going to Full Moon, a Hunting Witch. And I'm going to play Ritual of Balance. And it is your turn. I will draw four. You mean you didn't stack the deck with those slightly different colored sleeves? Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, nah, dude. Yeah, nah. Yeah, but nah. All right, I will play Logos. I'll play a Titan Mechanic over there. I will play a Neutron Shark. Um, Urchin and Champion and will blow each other up. I'll mill a card. It's not Logos. They can get artifacts, too. Oh, yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. It's actually amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> uh, just, go, just go down the list. Yeah, I'm trying it's, to figure out which, what is better between these two. You could probably get them all. You could probably get them. Actually, I'm going to go in Ritual Balance and Carlo. Okay. Flip. And all Neutron Shark and Hunting Witch. And flip. No... Uh, remote access the reliquary to bounce the hallowed blaster. Oh my god, I'm getting crushed. That gives me one. Jeez. Re <laughs> with these two, I'm getting so crushed. Uh, say check with <laughs> a nine. Okay. Uh, I am gonna say logos, and I'm gonna effervescent. Yeah, neutron shark is crazy good. Yeah, neutron shark's uh very good. And then I'm going to effervescent again. Jeez. Um, I am going to help from future self. I'm going to get back my Tim E. Traveler. Yeah, I thought about it, but um, Dexter Carlo wasn't going to give me any immediate value, or at least not for a while that I saw. Uh, Dexter, you can like kill Dexter if you when you want to end the chain. That's the yeah. nice thing. I don't. I didn't really want to. Oh yeah, because it puts him on top and it flips himself. Yeah, that's fair. And then he's like available to reap. Yeah. I didn't actually think about that. I probably would have killed him instead of the neutron shark as the last thing. All right, I'm going to play Time Traveler. Draw two. Uh, well, dang. Uh, I guess I'll Neutron si uh, Neuro Siphon, uh, even though I, like, blew up a bunch of your stuff. Uh, I'll play a Mother, and that'll be the end of my turn. I will draw up to six, and I'll lose a um, chain. Hmm. This is all ready now. Need to leave this in a place to remember my chains. Um, I'll play Logos. I'll play Nescaterra. Attack Mother while I can. Reap with these guys. Let's say check with five. Um, I can. I can stop you 
can do not a lot, or I can, um, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and say Sanctum. I'll play a champion in Nafiel. I'll play a Sigil of Brotherhood. I'm going to reap, I'm sorry, I'm going to use the Whispering Reliquary to put the Sigil back in my hand, and then I'm going to play it again. Go to six, and uh, I'll play a Seki. Library access, time traveler, speed sigil sounds very fun. Yeah. We'll play a Hallowed Blaster. Um, that'll be your turn. I'll say check with six, and you get to forge. I'll lose my chain and draw three. All right, I'll say Brabnar. Play a cannon. Play Valdir. Valdir, punch the time traveler. Punched him in his nerd face. Stupid nerd face. That's it. All right, forge for six. Oh, I forgot to put the standings of these decks, and the, I didn't change. I didn't do anything. I basically did nothing. So divinity was up for a game, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, divinity is up. Who usually yells at me about that? You need to get on your game, whoever you are. Yeah, somebody yells at you. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I'm going to... I guess I'll say Untamed. I'll uh, play a Ritual of Balance. I'm going to discard this key charge, even though I feel like that key charge is like super important. I'll play a Mermook. I'll play an Ancient Bear. <sighs> Do I use Sigil of Brotherhood and make some headway on the board? I feel like... I feel like this is the opposite of last game where I am this deck doesn't have any board wipes. Right, yeah. Not really. And I am so far behind on the board. Um and uh man. Okay, I guess I'll sigil champion and Nafiel is gonna kill the Dodger. Um, kill him before you get a chance to steal anything from me. And then Seki is going to kill the Valen Analyst before you get cannons online. Yeah. Okay. And it's your turn. I will draw. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, crap. This is supposed to be over here. Oh. That yeah. got shuffled in. That's fine. So. All right. It's rectified. Yeah, that didn't hurt anything. Judge, the game lost Judge. Plays, shuffling cards into his Judge. deck. That should have been there. Judge, retreat. Like, check the stream footage, please. Judge. All right. Uh, I need like need like an onion headline bot <laughs> yeah. for chat where I can just type in my favorite onion headlines. One of them was uh, the Supreme Court rules that the death penalty is totally metal <laughs> it's pretty good uh i'll say logos i'm gonna discard effervescent it was like each each justice took turns saying i am the law <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm gonna play a lab work these guys judge reap reap do i kill the bear this dude before he just dies of something random yeah i think i'm gonna swing this dude into the bear okay That's it. We need a judge command. That, that's a good idea, actually. What should it say? All right, I am going to say Logos. God, Sanctum is, t is tempting. Awfully tempting here. Did I not put up a bet for this game? What am I doing? Did I not do anything? I guess we won't put a bet on this game. <laughs> He's sh shirking his duties. What am I doing? Uh, I'm going to effervescent you. And fractions tracker? <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Um, I am going to drop a mother and a brain eater. Uh, I guess we'll put it like that. Maybe I did. What the heck? <laughs> this side, I think. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. I did. I did put it up. We're fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, I dropped, Why are you so worried about it? Drop to six and lose a chain. Oh god, Whoa. throwing cards. Whoa. Throwing cards off camera. I'm so mad. <laughs> and there we go. Okay. 
close this. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say Brobnar and pick up my archive. Play Headhunter. I'm gonna blood money the mother. Slam Valvir into the mother. Um, slam this Valvir in Seki. And uh, Nafiel. Oh, um, actually, he will. Is it worth it? It might be, because I need to deal with that Mermuk at some point. Yeah, we'll go ahead and slam it, because you're just going to heal him anyway at some point. This cannon will shoot the Brain Eater. Okay. That's it. Okay, I am going to say Sanctum. I'm going to Whispering Reliquary the Cannon. Weep. I'm going to Hallowed Blaster the Brain Eater. The judge has been called. I was going to say Game Loss. I'm going to Shoulder Armor the Brain Eater. I am going to... I guess I'm just going to go ahead and doorstep. I will take hostages. And then I'm going to Virtuous Works. Send me to six. Um, Seki, do you reap or do you fight? Accurate. <laughs> um, I guess Seki is going to reap. Put me to seven. And that'll let me say check, and I'll tell you to go ahead. I draw. Okay. All right, I'll say shadows. Play Nexus, Naughty the Thief. Lights out on. Brain Eater and Mermook. I'll play a Ghostly Hand. And that's it. Check with six. All right, so I forge. Yeah. Stop you with my untamed. Um, I can stop you with my logos. Uh, logos is slightly more resilient to what you have on the board, so I guess I'll say logos. Uh, I will effervescent. I'm gonna discard this other effervescent uh, keys. Yep. yep. Uh, I don't remember you flipping that key. <laughs> I don't remember you I'll forging your second key. Excuse Dexter, me. I'll play a Brain Eater. And it'll be your go. I'll drop the chain and draw one. Okay. I'll play Logos. Play Interdimensional Graft. Play a Bat Drone. Play Bouncing Death Quirk. I guess I'll reap first of these guys. I think I might use okay. at least one of them. Um, so Escaterra and Seki. We'll do Valdir and Brain Eater. And then Nexus Headhunter and Bat Drone and Nadia are all good. So I think I do have to do the Dexter. Even though I kind of don't want him to sit on top of my deck. Dexter for Dexter. Yeah, we'll do that since his has a amber, mine doesn't. He could be slightly better. That's it. Check with seven. 
Okay, um, I'll say untamed. I'll make you pay the full seven at least. Giant sloth, witch of the eye. Uh, oh, I can mm, do I make you pay it, or do I ritual you? I think I ritual. You really you. ritual me, right? right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's no reason to, to make you. There's no reason to let you forge a key yeah. if I, I can stop it. So. Um, okay, uh, it's your turn. I will draw four. Okay. Play Brobnar. I'm gonna discard cannon. I'm gonna discard coward's end. I'm gonna play a troll. Headhunter will attack the mermook. I'll gain one. Then I'm gonna tremor those dudes. And that's it. Check the seven. Hmm. So many dudes that fight well. Do I guess? Man, this is kind of tough. I have to take like a do nothing turn if I say sanctum. Um, a slightly less do nothing turn if I say logos. And then I can do more with untamed, but I don't draw anything if I do that. Um, I. Let's take a look at what's over here. All my like really sweet amber stuff is all gone. Um, I get like really close to threatening if I say untamed. I don't know if there's a situation where I can threaten. Well, okay, I think I say untamed. I'm going to play a Dust Pixie. I'm going to clear these guys' stuns. Don't you have to discard a card for Giant Sloth? Oh, yeah, you're right, you're clear right. Clear right. stun? Yeah, yeah, we, we have been over that. But yeah. I will play this Dust Pixie. Okay. I will clear the stun of which. And that may be wrong. Like I'm not sure. I think it is. But that's how we've been playing. Yeah, it. yeah. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to ritual you. Okay. I, th I can ritual you now. I cannot ritual you if I do not um, let go with something else. So, all right, that'll be that. Um, and then I will draw one. And so it's your turn. All right, so I'll say shadows. Naughty will steal one. Um, I'm gonna oublet the witch of the eye. Oubliette. O oubliette. Oubliette. French word. <laughs> um, reap with nexus. To use the Whispering Reliquary to bounce the Ritual Balance. Now we'll Ghostly Hand, and I'm gonna one last job to steal two. Mm. I say check with seven. Yeah, I guess it. Can't stop it. Ooh. I could not deal with your board. Yeah, um, yeah. There were so many. The fact that like Bat Drone was alive and you never used it yeah, for as right. long. Um, yeah, I could not deal with the board. I can't, well one, I can't win a game. <laughs> Two, I couldn't deal with your board. Um, yeah. I wonder if I had gone with Sanctum. I don't know if it would change anything. I uh, maybe if I said. Uh, uh, Logos, because I could have played three cards with Logos, but I don't know. I just I was marching, I was marching dudes to their death. Yeah, which is just the worst. It's place the worst to feeling. Be. It can't... is the worst place to be in Keyforge. Yeah, um, I had, um, yeah, I just had so many guys that uh, I could, I like would was never gonna get to activate. So you at least want to be generating amber or something while you're doing that, right? Yeah, forcing the opponent to interact with you in some way. 
bet is up. I'm actually going to adjust the thingies. They have to commit two infractions that round. That's one below his average per match. <laughs> I really wish there was a tracker. That'd be pretty great. That would be. It would be pretty good. Yeah. To see who committed the most infractions. Yeah. We need like levels of infractions. I think forgetting chains is an infraction. Yeah. In its own type. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. When I drew. When I drew the. Uh, the help from future self after I'd already played it. I was like, oh, hell yeah. Wait, this is not supposed to be in my hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Ugh. What a, what a brutal game that was. Lord Farquaad is with you all the way, Nathan. <sighs> Literally fives of amber on you. I don't know which deck I feel is better. After I think it's draw decks. dependent. Yeah, it's definitely draw dependent. I think it is draw dependent. This one has like a lot of artifact disruption, and that deck has some pretty uh, like good artifacts. Yeah, that's so true. It's a good point. We we had a similar situation earlier in the tournament where the double remote access deck beat the pants off of the double ritual of balance deck i'm kind of sad that sting decks out now yeah because i feel like that deck was very powerful and the artifacts that had going were just insane yeah i think it was a good deck i, I think it was on i think it was like a matter of when you drew things yep um yeah uh so you're first mm. nope this is double effervescent dimension door in my opening hand. I don't think that's going to do anything. I will keep. Is shuffling face up and stacking your deck is that an infraction? <laughs> yes. What level of infraction are we talking about here? Uh, it's a very severe. <laughs> so you kick Let's me see out a dark black. Take care, bud. All right, so it gets it gets you kicked out of the house that you own. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, it's pretty bad. You don't like that. Doesn't feel good. Um, I think I'll play champion Nafil. Start off. Uh, okay, I will I'm gonna save Brobnar. I'm gonna discard War Song. I'll play a Valdir and I'll punch Champion and Nafiel. And I'll draw three. And it's your turn. I'll say Sanctum, play a Reliquary, play Bulwark, play Seki, Reap with a Nafiel. That's it. We had that same thing the first game we played, except that he had a shoulder armor instead yeah. of a relic. Yeah. Uh, I am going to say Shadows. I think Ghostly Handing is just too good not to do here. I'll play an Urchin. I was ready if you had two. Uh, that'll be my turn. I'll draw two. Okay, I'll say Untamed. I'm going to Full Moon, Giant Sloth, Witch of the Eye, and I'll discard Save the Pack. Instead of playing it and killing Champion Nafi? Yeah, I'm going to pass on that one. That's a no for me, dog. It's going to be a no for me, dog. Okay, I am going to say Logos. I'm going to play a Titan Mechanic. I'm going to play a bat drone. I am going to lab work. I'm going to stuff. Uh, I don't think it matters. I'll stuff this under here. I'm also drinking an orange vanilla Coke. Uh, Please sponsor us Coca-Cola. Sponsor us, you cowards. <laughs> They're also very good. I like them. 
Uh, yeah, that's, that's all right. Yeah, I mean, this is the Zero, Coke Zero version. Um, uh, thanks for joining our uh, soda review stream. This is stream. a Coca-Cola stream. <laughs> We're a soda review stream. It tastes vaguely of uh, orange and vanilla. And <laughs> vanilla flavor. It's not quite dreamsicle. I do this at Firehouse kind of anyway. Like, this is the same thing I do at Firehouse. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I, I invented this. Where's my money? <laughs> Where's my paycheck? Pay us, you cowards! Yeah. It does um, kind of... It's like it's, it's not, not really quite, cream soda. Yeah. yeah, it's not quite. Um, it's not overpowering. Yeah, it's pretty good. I much prefer my cherry Cokes, um, but uh, this is this is fine. This is acceptable. If this is if you're uh, citrusy instead of like a cherry, then... Um, cherry Sprite Zero is, is great. So, um, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Popping off with the Neutron Cherry, cherry 7-Up was... Uh, was my jam all right so urchin and witch is number one it is not a logos card the coke freestyle machines were actually just mining the flavors p1 and cans <gasps> oh my, <laughs> my god my mind is blown. Ah, ah. <laughs> that's so right, true uh, i'll discard bat drone and we'll say seki okay it is not um we're gonna smoke Um, Valder and the Sloth, and then it was a logo card. All right. Well, I'll say check uh, with five because of the Titan mechanic. And your turn. All right. I'll say logos. I'm gonna effervescent. All right. I will discard effervescent. Or will I? No, I will not. Um, I'm gonna play Help from Future Self first. So I think I like having two in the deck, but not three. But not three. Yeah, I uh, I think I did that last game. I think I played the Effervescence, then Help from Future Self. So I shuffled like more in, and I there was the like first a, game too. There yeah. was a there was a turn late in the game where my two. hand was like two Effervescence were like the only Logos cards, and then like some other stuff, and I was like, well, these Effervescence feel pretty bad. Yeah. So. Play Time Traveler. Where do you want to go? You go here. Did you get any Amber? Draw two cards. Oh, hey. Effervescence. Effervescence. <laughs> I'll discard these Effervescent Principles. I'll play a Mother. Play a Dexter. That's it. All right, I am going to put my archives in my hand, and I am going to say um, shadows. I am going to lights out. Um, we have bulwark and the mother. I am going to relentless whispers the time traveler. I will play one last job, and then we're going to play a Naughty the Thief, and it'll be your turn. I will draw three. Say check with six. Only need five. Okay, I'll say Sanctum. I will doorstep. I will take hostages. I'll kill the neutron shark. Capture one. I will play Bulwark Protectrix. And Reliquary doesn't do anything. That's it. Okay, we are going to say um, Logos. I am going to play a Dr. Escaterra, a Dexter, and a Valent Analyst. I'm going to phase shift in a troll. Oh yeah, wrong guy. <laughs> and the Titan mechanic, I think just reaps here. I'm gonna force this key through one way or another. So check with five. 
and I'll tell you to go ahead and I will draw four or five cards. All right, I'm gonna say Sanctum. Play a Blaster, play Champion Nephil. Reap with Protectrix to heal this one. He'll kill the Titan Mechanic. Reap with Bulwark, or do I destroy? Yeah, I'll fight the Analyst before you remote access my thing. And that's it. Judge? Why are you calling a judge? Because <laughs> uh, I put the thing on the wrong. Guy. Oh my. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that's an infraction. That's one. <laughs> Count it. Shadows, I guess. All right, Naughty's gonna steal one. I'm gonna play a ghostly hand. I'm gonna play a Nexus and a Dodger. And it is your turn. I'll say check with eight. With eight. And I will draw three. Okay. Say untamed. Play Hunting Witch, Mermook, Witch of the Eye, Ancient Bear, Giant Sloth. That's it. Check with seven. You do Forge for seven. Okay. I'm gonna say Brobnar here. Okay. I'm gonna trimmer these three. No. I am going to play a headhunter. The troll will kill the hunting witch. Then I'm going to anger the Dodger into the Mermook. Uh, I steal one from you. Uh, that is it, and it is your turn. I like there. I, there was a line where I could have stopped you from forging there, but I uh, would just give you too many guys. Yeah. Like uh, this way. I got to answer two problems. Because if you let me, like... And then... Yeah. Let me untap with a bunch of... All those stuff? No. Nah, they're in a bad place. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say... Logos. I'll Neurosiphon. Steal one. How dare you steal what I stole from you? And <laughs> draw. Um, play Mother... Mother... Bookton. Oh, gross. Extra will... Reap. That's it. Okay, um, we are gonna say shadows. Board is unmanageable. Board is getting unmanageable. Two mothers. Yeah. Yeah, that's bad. Um, yeah, so we'll say shadows. I am going to oubliette. Um, this is actually tough. I don't know whether to get the Dexter or the Witch of the Eye. I'm going to get the Witch of the Eye. Um, I just I never want to see her again. I'll play a Carlo Phantom. Naughty's going to steal one from you. Nexus is going to reap. Uh, I wish I had somebody for this Dodger to fight. Yeah, 
because but everybody is covered by Champion and Nafiel. Um, that was even before I oubliated the uh, Witch of the Eye. Um, otherwise, I would Nexus your Hallowed Blaster and heal him. Right. Um, but instead, I'm going to Nexus the Whispering Reliquary and bounce the Hallowed Blaster. Okay. And then the Dodger is going to fight one of the Mothers. Okay. Uh, we'll say that one. I, if I draw back around to Trimmer and these guys are still stunned, then I can Trimmer down here. I think it makes more sense to uh, Trimmer that way. Uh, and then I'll Ghostly Hand. Um, I, that was like another reason why I wish that Dodger could have lived through the fight because I would have gotten to um, uh, steal one from you. So that'll let me say check with six. Um, and I'll tell you to go ahead. All right, we'll I'm going to say... Three. So many cards in my hand. How these cards get in my hand? All right, I'll <laughs> say... Logos. I'm going to Dimension Door. Oh my god. I'm reap with Bookton. <laughs> Draw a card. Um, um, the, I, the 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 frustrating thing about tonight is that there's like all these cards that I have had to discard on repeat, and I'm and getting used to that. You're getting you're yeah. getting to use them. Uh, I will effervescent. Oh, this is an ASMR stream. <laughs> effervescent. Here you go. Saying say, saying double mother is got to be an ASMR thing, right? Oh yeah, probably. Good for yourself. You have to keep track of what you pick. People pick for refills, yeah, right? You only have mass consumer and everything in your space. Share receipt. You have to be an idiot not to use it in marketing and products. One hundred percent. I have for best. Okay, so I lose two. Then I'll reap with these guys. Take this. Um, play brain eater. That's it. Drop the chain. Draw none. So I have seven cards. That's it. All right. Um, I am going to say Logos. I'm going to effervescent you right back. Okay. Uh, I'm going to remote access your reliquary to bounce it. Um, Dexter and Escatera are both going to reap. <laughs> Hashtag aliens. I love that you're still thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna bouncing death quirks so we're gonna get carlo and this anaphiel i'm going to get escatera and mother i'm going to get nexus and brain eater we're gonna get naughty and this anaphiel my poor taunt guys. I'm gonna get Dexter and Bookton. Uh, that goes back to you. I'm gonna get finally some breathing room. Yeah, it'll be understandable again. Um, Headhunter and Protectrix, I guess. Headhunter and Protectrix. Uh, and that's it. Trolls, King of the Mountain. Yep. As far as I'm concerned. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, I'll say... Draw uh, and shuffle and draw some more. Say Sanctum. I'll play a Reliquary, Hallowed Blaster, Sigil of Brotherhood. Play Seki with a Shoulder Armor. And Reap with Bulwark. i say check with six. Yeah, King of the Crags, also appropriate. The aggro crag? The aggro crag. Do, 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 you have it. <laughs> Guts. We're a 90s nostalgia stream as well. <laughs> yeah. You hear that, Nickelodeon? Sponsor us, you cowards. Sponsor us. Draw to you. Put Gak all over our Keyforge cards. <laughs> you can't say that on television. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is this troll? Okay, we're going to say Brobnar. I'm going to bump to you to stop you from forging. We're going to play a Baldir. Uh, I guess I'm going to Blood Money. And then... 
<laughs> scratch a piece of the aggro crag. We, did, sure we t- did talk about buying a piece of the aggro yeah, crag we wanted about to, 10 years ago, probably. We wanted to find a piece of it. Like, <laughs> yeah. surely a piece of the aggro crag's got to be on, like, eBay somewhere along yeah. the way. Um, all right, so Troll is going to kill Bulwark. Uh, he takes four. He goes to six. All right, so you check with seven. Okay. So you go ahead. Uh, I'll draw three. I'm going to say untamed. Play. Okay, I'm just playing everything over here. Not going to crap on my secchi. Um, <laughs> play Dust Pixie. Play Key Charge for a Forge. Play Mermook Witch. I'm going to unstun the bear. So I could play Save the Pack, kill the troll, or I could discard it, unstun my Giant Sloth. I think I'm going to discard it, unstun my Giant Sloth, just so that's a threat once again. And that is it. Forge for seven. Yes. This game is pretty close, actually. I think I've had the Forge for seven for both of these games. Yeah. Okay. We are going to save Brobnar. Um, I have to I have to do so much like... All right. The troll is going to kill the Dust Pixie. Okay. Valdir is going to kill the Witch of the Eye. Bumpsy is going to kill the Mermook. Just clean up all this garbage. And then we're going to trim her. My poor... It's poor sloth. Uh, all right, that's my turn, and I will draw one. And here we go. Well. Okay, that's a good. That's a good one. I think. I'll say untamed. I will save the pack now that I redrew it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll play Judge, he didn't offer to pallets. cuts. Uh, I sure did. <laughs> I'll disc- the problem is Here's you're cutting the- all my good cards in the, in the best possible order. Uh, I'm going to discard Full Moon and unstun these guys. This- yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. And that's it. Jeez. Legend of the Hidden Temple was the best game show. Olmec. Am I a Logos boy or am I a Shadows boy? Jeez. I'm going to say Logos. I'm going to discard Effervescent. I'll play Dexter. I'll play Escatera for two. And then I'll play Interdimensional Graft. When you key charged, I had the Graft in hand and I was like. You, you were like, you went to seven, and I was like, yeah, here we go. And then um, you key charged, and I like, just felt the essence draining from my body. <laughs> so I'll draw. Okay, I'll say... Draw, draw. Sanctum. I'm going to take hostages. Virtuous works. Play Anaphil. Sick, you will reap. Capture one. I'll reliquary my sigil of brotherhood. Play it. I don't know why I treated that like a battle line just now. Um, yeah. That's it. So check with six. Uh, I, I have to get real creative and stop you here. Um... So I'm going to play Carlo. I'm going to Relentless Whispers, my own Carlo. Um, then I will Ghostly Hand 2-6. And I will say check. And I will draw 3. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I could have done that better. Okay, anyway. Good. Um, yeah, I could have done that better. 
I think I bungled that last turn. I mean, I've drawn cards now, um, okay. so we can't go back and like reconstruct it. But I'm gonna say, <laughs> I'm gonna say the logos. I'll use the sigil to reap with Seki. Okay. To capture one, Anaphil will attack Escatera. Okay. I'm gonna play Neurosiphon. I'm gonna play. Time travel. Well, I'll play Mother first, then Time Traveler. Um, play a Brain Eater. And Unstun Dexter. Let's say check. It's eight. Can't stop eight. Okay. I had a remote access I could have played last turn on the ritual. Oh, okay. Which I think would have been better, because uh, I had ritual, I believe, bouncing death quark and um, uh, yeah, so phase shift, phase shift, bouncing death quark, remote access. So I think if I said logos there, I think I would have been in a lot better shape. Yeah, I, that's yeah. why I think I bungled that turn. I got you. Um, so because I could have like reaped with my guys, then remote access, then whatnot. So. Well, guys, that's the end of Tabletop Royale. <laughs> We're signing off forever now. Uh, but yeah, Divinity wins. Divinity um, wins. Yeah, I can stop. Uh, I needed Dexter to be dead so that I could draw him so right. that I could stop like an additional one somewhere along the way. Um, I didn't have any way to draw, so yeah. I think I punted there, but I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, I did you I have still effervescence? Was, I did have effervescence. Okay, I had yeah. two effervescence, and I had Dimension Door. Yeah. So I, I was still no. going to be able to drop a bunch of logos, guys. You would have had to then deal with. Yeah. The next. Yeah, I turn. don't think so. So. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that makes sense. Barely gross. Cal has some work to do tomorrow. That's for sure. Yeah. Devo. Goodbye, Devo. Take care. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be you'll be missed. Uh, this deck is good. I mean, I think it's I think it is really good. I think it's got a lot of staying power. Yeah. Uh, I can like squeak out close games and whatnot. So, um, great yeah. stream tonight. Ten, <laughs> 10 out of ten stream. I had so much zero fun. out of ten. We'll average it out to a five out of ten. <laughs> Such a good stream. What a miserable game Keyforge is. Wow, what a good stream. All right, uh, orange ones? orange vanilla Coke sucks. <laughs> uh, the internet sucks. Basketball sucks. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to start naming things around the room. <laughs> Windows, the concept of Windows, suck. Lights, suck. Streaming, sucks. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, talking to people on the internet, let's, sucks. Let's shut it down before Nathan loses <laughs> everything and we get uh, banned on Twitch <laughs> for <laughs> some sort of infractions. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, appreciate you watching tonight. We'll be back tomorrow, we'll and see. it'll be the finals. See you tomorrow. Finals of the March Madness story on, on April 1st will be their finals game. So yes. Whatever. Yep. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Have a good night, everyone. Top quality. <laughs> sponsor us. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Arbit's definitely should sponsor us. Like, listen to this. <laughs> listen to the clink. You can't get quality ASMR from any other token on the market. <laughs> Let me tell you that. All right, goodbye. Take a good look at yourself. Are you you? right there